Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at adding collectible objects to the game. These collectible objects are going to be gems, which are going to be um, scored. So as we collect them, um, they will add uh, points to our score. The scoring system we'll do in a future video. We're just adding the objects for now. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to uh, add um, objects for exit, exit in the current level to go to the next level and um, a lock and also I'm going to show you how to uh, use um, sprite sheets uh, which can be used to uh, generate um, animated sprites so rather than draw you can draw animated sprites as, sprites as I've already shown you in previous videos but you can also use sprite sheets uh, to import um, still images to create an animation so I'm going to show you that so this is going to be a relatively short video um, because it's there's nothing really new in this video that you haven't done before apart from the sprite sheets so i have uh, generated um, three sprites or four sprites sorry one for a blue gem which is going to be um, which is going to give me a certain amount of points when i collect it one for a red gem which is going to which is going to generate a certain number of points when i collect it um, i've got an exit symbol which is going to be used to move to the next level uh, and i've also created uh, a sprite for a lock which is going to lock off the exit, so I have to collect the key in order to get to open the lock to get to the exit. So um, I have four collectible objects. There are four objects which I'm going to add to my my room in a second. Um, so I've created sprites for those, and then created objects for those sprites. Uh, so so uh, so I got so I've created the sprites first, and obviously created the objects. So I'm just going to show you how to use um, sprite sheets in order to create an animated key or animated um, object. So I'm going to create a new sprite. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create and I'm going to create a sprite. And I'm going to call this sprite SPR underscore key. OK, so press enter and I'm going to edit the image. So I'm not going to import it. I'm just going to edit the image. And what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to go onto the image menu at the top of the screen. And I'm going to import a strip image. And you can see here that I've got a, these are all the images that I've, I've been using, but I've also got a SPR key strip. Okay. So this has got one, two, three, four images in this, on this strip. So when I click it and I click open, okay, it brings up a number of things for me. When uh, I've, when you do, you, you import it, it will all look like that. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do is to import the key. Um, so um, there are a number of frames. I've got four frames, okay, and frames per row. There are four frames in that row. So I'm going to one, two, three, four. So you can see that it's separated these frames out, and I'm going to convert them now into a sprite, sh um, an animated sprite. Uh, it says importing the strip image will replace the existing sprite frames. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, I do. And there is my key. Now, before we go any further, the first thing you need to do is to uh, is to run it to see how it looks. So um, that key is animating way too fast. So I'm going to slow it down. So I'm going to use this little uh, arrow at the side here, and I'm going to slow this down to a more manageable speed. So let's have a look. That looks a bit better to me. Maybe five frames a second. Yeah. So five frames a second is fine. When I'm happy. I'm going to close down the actual image, okay? And there's my sprite. Now, um, I'm going to resize my uh, my image because the one I've imported is 32 by 32. All of my um, sprites are 64 by 64, so I'm going to change uh, the size of that. So I'm going to scale the image up to 64 um, pixels, 64 by 64, and I'm going to apply it. And now I should have my animated sprite of my key that rotates. Okay. Now you can either draw an image or you can find a sprite sheet like I have. Um, that's absolutely fine. Um, as long as um, you um, import it properly, you shouldn't have any problems at all. So I'm going to close this uh, this down now because I've got my sprite done. And now I'm going to create an object for it. So I'm going to right click on my objects. I'm going to create an object. And it's going to be obj key obj underscore key 
and enter and then I'm going to allocate my sprite to it so sprites there's my sprite key um, and now I am going to close that down and I'm going to go into my room and now I'm going to put in my sprites so uh, I've got two gems so I'm going to put a red gem don't forget make sure please when you're you're dragging these in you do not try and put the uh, the sprite things if you do that this happens okay this asks this asset can only be applied to an asset layer you don't carry everyone selected because you're not important you shouldn't be importing sprite this objects okay so make sure I always make sure that I just minimize those down so I can't see them and now I've got some things to put in so I'm going to put a blue gem let's say I put a blue the blue gem goes over here maybe okay I'll put the blue gem there I've got a red gem I can put in which I might put in by here maybe there okay I've got my exit which I'm going to put up here I'll put my exit by there I'm going to lock off the exit with um, a key that I'm not going to be a lock so I'm not going to be able to get past okay um, and I'm going to put the key over here okay so when I play the game now if I want to get uh, points, I can collect the gems. I need to collect the key to open the lock. And then once I've opened the lock, I can reach the exit and move to the next level. So that's how that's going to work. Um, in the next video, I am going to show you how to, um, to move to the next level. So we're going to be looking at um, using a variable to hold whether or not we've got the key. Um, so as we can open the lock uh, and we can move through that lock to the exit and um, I move to the next level. So we're going to look at that in the next video.